Well, right now we're going to do something on a really different break the orchestra around. First, first thing we'd like to do is ask uh, our percussion section to come on down to the front of the stage <laughs> and get a set of humans. Behind to us. Pete, you look like you're getting ready to rob a bank or something. <laughs> the doctor is in the house. All right. So, uh, I'll talk to you just a, just a little bit a minute to set this up about the very early days of the, of the piano blues in the deep south in states like uh, Mississippi and Alabama, and Georgia, North Florida, East Texas, and the Carolinas. And all throughout this region uh, where the blues began, the blues pianists in the early decades of the 20th century traveled from town to town on freight trains to ply their trade in, in uh, backwoods camps, often at turpentine camps, lumber camps, in very odd and difficult circumstances, always with very poor pianos. The very most they could hope for is a piano that, uh, that worked, forget about being in tune. And it became important that they, uh, under these circumstances, that they developed a way of playing that could be appreciated by the audiences there. And it was uh, uh, usually a weekend when the, the men at the camp had been working all weekend long very hard. And there were, um, if you follow my drift, there were other entertainers present as well in these circumstances. And everybody needed to be moved by the music. And so the piano players and these awful instruments and difficult circumstances relied on the sound of the trains that carried them from job to job. And it became the basis for the uh, eight to the bar boogie boogie piano feel of that time. And one of the great pianists was a guy by the name of uh, Charles Cow Cow Davenport. So named because he used to like to ride on the very front of the train on the cow catcher. And of course I always tell kids that, you know, that's the part that just gently lifts the cows up and Put some software back on. <laughs> Trust so that the, the train can proceed. It's a very humane process. <laughs> um, we would like to approximate that feel for you right now. And so we are. Um, oh, I'm, like, you're right. I'm sorry. I forgot. In the, in the, in the heat of battle, I forgot. Paul, go ahead. Do you want to now? Go ahead. Set us up with something like this, and then we're going to get after this. Cool. 